Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about to calculate the shear force and bending moment values and also shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam with point load. Yeah, now let us see this case. Here, shear force and bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam with point load at the free end. So we know that what is cantilever beam is nothing but uh, one end is fixed support and other end is free support. So here the fixed end is considered as point A and the free end is considered as point B at the free end. So what is our case is cantilever beam with point load at the, at the free end. So this is the free end. At this free end we have applied some point load. And here this is point A and this is point B. The length of the beam between AB is considered as L. So in this figure, it shows a cantilever of beam AB of length L and fixed at A and free at B. It's carrying a point load W. This is the point load at the free end B. So now for this case, let find out uh, shear force and bending moment. Shear force can be denoted by F and bending moment can be denoted by M. So how to calculate the shear force and bending moment is first you have to consider a section XX at a distance of X from the free end. So here if suppose on AB portion, this is the XX section. So this XX section at a distance of X from free end, the B end is a free end. So from that free end to this XX section, the distance is X. So here, the distance between the free end to XX section, X. On this XX section, here you have to find out this shear force at XX section and bending moment at XX section. So on this, the load is applied the right side of this XX section. So here you have to consider the right portion of the section. Further, so now shear force at XX section is, it can be written as F suffix X. Here, Fx is nothing but shear force at this section. This is, is equal to uh, resultant force acting on the right portion of the given section. So in this case, what is the force? Only W. That force is downward. So here we know the sign convention. If suppose the right portion at the section is acting downward direction, then that is considered as positive. So here, shear force at XX is positive and the load is W. So, Fx is equal to plus load is W. So, here the shear force will be constant at all the sections of the cantilever beam between B and A because there is no load uh, between B and A. And coming to the bending moment. So, the bending moment can be calculated for, uh, by force into perpendicular distance. So the bending moment at the xx section means mx is equal to. So force into perpendicular distance. The force is this one. So due to this force, the deflection curve is, if suppose this is a point load is acting at the free end and the deflection curve is like this. So we know already the bending moment sign convention for this the positive sign and for this we'll get the negative sign. So the deflection curve at the free end, this is the deflection curve. So here this is like a negative. So minus and the force is W and the W to at XX section, the distance is X. So here the bending moment at the XX section is minus W into X. And here, from the, if suppose, uh, if we consider this bending moment equation is considered, assumed as equation number 1, then from equation 1, uh, here it is clear that at any section is proportional to the distance of the section from the free end. 
Now, if you want to calculate the bending moment at B and bending moment at A, then substitute. So here, I am taking right to left. So here, at x is equals to 0. At x is equals 0 is nothing but that point is B point at B. Bending moment at B. M suffix B. So in this first equation, in x place, if suppose x is equal to 0, then we will get bending moment at B is also 0. Similarly, at x is equal to L means starting from B to A. So at x is equal to L is nothing but that point is A point. That is at A. So bending moment at A. So what is bending moment at A is here minus W into L. So here the bending moment follows the straight line law. And here this is W into L. And we will get here minus. So here how to draw the shear force bending uh, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram is nothing but we know the values of shear force and bending moment. The shear force value is plus W and it is continuous up to from B to A because there is no load between B to A. And bending moment is con uh, considered as minus W into X and substitute the values of uh, X in bending moment equation at B, substitute X equals to 0, then we will get bending moment at B and at A, X substitute X is equals to L, then we will get bending moment at A. So now we know the values of shear force and values of bending moment. Now draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this. So here, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So first draw the cantilever beam. And point load is acting at the end, free end. So first, draw a shear force diagram. For this, draw a natural line along the points. And here, this is point A and this is point B. The total length of the beam is L. And the x-x section is considered at a distance of x from b. And now draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Here from the derivation we will get the shear force value as positive. So first draw a baseline. If we we'll get the shear force is positive, then draw the shear force diagram above the baseline. If we we'll get the negative shear force, then draw the shear force diagram below this baseline. This line is called as baseline. So in this case, we'll get the shear force is plus W X plus W. So from here above the baseline, here up to this, this is the load. Now draw the straight line because there is no changes in shear force value because the load is acting at this portion this is continuous up to point a so this total portion is positive and the value is w so this is positive and here w this is the shear force area now draw the bending moment diagram here for this bending moment also first draw the baseline so from here we know the uh, values of bending moment minus wl at a and 0 at b point and at x x section minus w into x so we'll get the negative values so draw the bending moment diagram below the baseline so first draw the baseline and at b point 0 and here this is the xx section 
at this x x section minus w into x and at a portion will get the value as minus w into l so here this is a point load so here we'll get the bending moment diagram is a straight line the total bending moment is negative bending moment this is the bending moment portion so this figure is shear force diagram and this is bending moment diagram in cantilever beam with point load at the free end the shear force will be positive and the bending moment will be negative thank you